well met. The Inquisition has brought an offering to enter your trials. Yes. Oh, this will be a fight to remember. I mean, enter the arena grounds. Hakon's trials await. Farewell. Safe journeys. Well met. I'm ready to begin Hakon's trials. Excellent. Step into the grounds and we'll begin. Farewell. Safe journeys. Knock, knock. Sure, why not? Who's there? Dragon. Dragon who? Dragons really don't like withens. Sorry, kid. Still not quite getting it. Closer, though. Come <laughs> on. 
Ah, what a fight! That maneuver with Well, you saw it. well fought, Inquisitor. Farewell. Safe journeys. <laughs> I finally found some place I hate even more than caves. That's a first. The Inquisition soldier, Grandin. No, he's different. Inquisitor, I've abandoned my post, haven't I? I had cause, just missing the permission part. Harding told us about your friend Jace. He was studying at the university. Those hack-on bastards. Jace wasn't a soldier, he wasn't even armed. After this, he was going to show me Val Royale. I've never been. I thought we might... I can't let this happen. I'm sorry, Grandin. I wasn't a soldier either, not before this. Little circle. Never had the skill for combat spells, so I picked up a sword. I wanted to fight for the Inquisition. The jaws of Hakon almost ended that, too. I was bleeding out when it saw me. It knows what I know. They will not kill more people. Not like Jace. I will protect them, Inquisitor. And then, will you stop, or will the rage take you? It doesn't have to be this way. Release Grandin's spirit. <laughs> Release? The spirit remains because I want it. I will protect our people. I want to fight, Inquisitor. You're not walking out of here, demon. If you stop me, then I cannot stop them. I won't allow it. <laughs> Harding will inform the family of the death, if not the details. Have you seen the plans for the new camps? Tree houses. It all sounds awful and precarious.
I've news about Scout Grandin. Maker. Don't tell me. He's dead, isn't he? Yes. He is dead. Another one. Gone. Just like that. Never get used to it, do you? Maker. Huh. I'll miss him. The boy was great company. Terrible jokes, but... That was a part of his charm. You know? Don't you like the idea of tree houses? It's a good idea, in theory. Up where the wild animals can't get us. But having solid ground so far, far below me with nothing but air in between us is just... Who would have thought? Scout Harding afraid of heights. Me? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not afraid. Who's afraid? No one's afraid. I love being up high. Lovely views, fresh air, birds flying at my head. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm a little uncomfortable with heights. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Danich yet lives while I was so certain of his passing. The Maker smiles on this endeavor. Your scribe, Dunwich, mentioned something called the Nox Mortar. Ah, yes. I have yet to lay eyes upon it. Pray do not request details so soon. Not when concrete evidence lies yet unturned. I have evidence of your Nox Mortar, I think. Yes. To observe the mark of the teeth. Let me see. Gurgut and Gurgut. But this. A beast unclassified and interested in the bait presented. What lies before us is an opportunity to greet the unknown. Yet I confess fear, knowing I lack the skill to confront it. Surely, Andraste's Herald does not share my limitation. If you would take the bait and confirm its existence, I would be in the Inquisition's debt. What can you tell me about Nox Mortar? Mere scraps of knowledge gleaned from bloodstained papers. They speak of a creature enamored of shadow lurking in the darkest places. Silence pays it fair. Concealing its horrid bulk until a stretched mouth takes its prey. Of course, some of my colleagues deem the beast a mere fancy. I should go. Inquisitor.
Be prepared. There's no telling what trouble we'll find down here. Mortisan said to place the bait here. We need to find a good spot. Is that... Wait! Did you hear that? You can't be serious. Bogfisher? It's a bogfisher? I thought bogfishers were nice! it was a very aggressive bog fisher. Not what I expected. Der Mortisan will want to hear about this.
do not keep me in suspense. Your haunted stare speaks plainly of an encounter with the Nox Water. Is the Nox Mortar a bog fisher, by any chance? A large, aggressive bog fisher? Bog fisher? That quaint nomenclature inadequately describes its lesser kin. And here is whom they must serve. Why didn't you... I told them to have proof of its existence. Minds shall be enlightened. Though when enlightenment comes at the cost of such fearful truths, I must wonder at its tone. Permit my humble gratitude to reflect the risk taken, your worship. Where's Dunwich? I must draft a letter to the university. I should go. Inquisitor. Everyone remember not to look down. I may have already looked. Just try not to think about it. Or fall. Falling would be worse. I'm not going to be the one to explain to Cullen that I let you fall to your death from a tree. What is this? Are the fishes of stone bear hole too rude to share a meal with friends? We are no friends of the jaws of Hakon. Where does tr The Inquisitor! Let her blood bathe the blades of the jaws of Hakon! Death to the Lowlanders! Glory to Hakon! in the basin. Stone Bear Hole's been here a few generations. I was born further north, but we left before I can remember. It was a good life, until the jaws of Hackett arrived. They brought trouble with them. People are expecting a raid, but... You don't agree? They seem bigger fools than that, for all their boasting. I cannot say what they plan. But it bodes ill. I find myself in need of a boat. I need to reach that island. The lady's rest. What? That island belongs to the Lady of the Skies. The spirits warn us to leave it be. I don't wish to disturb your lady, but it's important. Thane Sunhair has given you guest welcome. And I have given you warning. The boat is yours. I hope you come back alive.
Interesting. What drew so many spirits to this place, I wonder? This blood. My blood? No, I can't. This rift is ancient. It may have formed from the battle that took place here, not the breach. Talana slept. I slept. To find him in dreaming. But I... The blood. I'm... She's gone. Talana wanted to reach Emeridan again. One more time. But she couldn't. I couldn't. I died. I tried to stay, but only pieces came through. You opened the sky for the rest of me. Can you help make sense of this? It hurts. She hurt. The wraiths knew only the pain, but she knew why. Daring, dreaming into darkness for Emeridan. Emeridan? Yes. Inquisitor. Beloved. I... She... Came with Emeridan to hunt the dragon. The dragon? Huge. Power like none had seen. It came from the mountains with the Ava. Towns fell, all dead. One last favor for Emperor Draken. Slay the Ava dragon. Save or lay. There are no records of a dragon, so he must have killed it, and died doing so. Yes. If he had lived, he would have found her, me. But he didn't. And no one ever knew. They fought at the shore. Spirits and magic. Cold. So cold. How I found her. How she found us. They rested here, then up the river. Metal spires, a way to stop the dragon. Then Talana returned here, alone, to wait for him. Forever waiting, dreaming, then dead. We'll find a Meriden. You don't have to wait here anymore. You did what she wanted you to. You can let go of her now. Thank you. It was hard. I... She... Went a long time ago. I stayed because she asked. Her things are there. She wanted them found.
Are you all right? I help you, Inquisitor. I'd like to discuss Inquisitor Emeridan. Of course, your predecessor. Existing historical records are contentious. Some say he was a devout Andraste. Others suggest he cared little for religion, gaining leadership of the Seekers through Emperor Draken's friendship. He disappeared around the time the Seekers of Truth, the original Inquisition, incorporated into the newfound Chantry. It's not clear why. Some say that he was tired of his responsibilities and wanted one last great dragon hunt. A spirit on the island held the memories and possessions of Emeridan's lover, a woman named Talana. It told us that Emeridan was here on orders from Emperor Draken himself, and where he went next. Andraste's dimples. I may have received tenure from that sentence alone. Ameridan had a lover. Talana, you said. The Inquisitor's Lady Mage. There was such debate over whether she existed. And there were orders? This was a request from Draken? This changes everything. You don't have a problem receiving information from spirits. It's not ideal, but since you found corroborating physical evidence, I see no serious issues. Any study of great wars and battlefields carries an inherent risk of contact with demons or spirits. When spirits are willing to talk, most historians love the chance of a first-hand report. What does it change knowing that Emeridan was on a mission from Emperor Draken? Everything. One current theory holds that Emeridan was selfishly throwing off his responsibilities to go hunting. Another suggests Draken had him removed or even killed because Emeridan opposed the Navaran Accord. But if this is true, then Emeridan was a loyal servant of Orlais. He was not an embarrassment. He was a patriot protecting Orlais while Draken fought in the Second Blight. You were surprised to hear that Emeridan had a lover. Yes, this Talana you mentioned. Her existence has been hotly debated. Some scholars took Inquisitor Emeridan's respect for the Chantry to imply that he remained celibate. In ages past, there were stories about him and his lover, a mage. They made it out to be a star-crossed romance. The Chantry silenced the stories strenuously. When I helped the Avar at Stone Bear Hold, we learned that the Jaws of Hakon once bound their god's soul to a beast. According to the spirits, the dragon Emeridan faced was powerful and accompanied by hostile Avar. You believe they could be one and the same? That would mean... Of course! Of course! Brilliant! 800 years ago, the Second Light threatened a weak Orle. A perfect time for the Avar to attack. This... Avar God Dragon could have endangered the Olesian Empire had Emeridan not stopped it. That explains why he would accept such a dangerous mission. And likely how he died. How bad would it be if the contemporary Jaws of Hakon bound their god to a dragon again? With Orlais still recovering from the Civil War and the Mage Templar conflict, not to mention the remaining demon rifts and Corypheus himself. A high dragon given malice and magic by an Avar god spirit could hypothetically destroy much of Orlais. At least, I hope that was hypothetically. 
You're not concerned about the literal existence of an Avar god? Not particularly. If the jaws of Hakon once bound their god to a dragon, it is likely just a powerful spirit. That isn't to downplay the important cultural significance to the Avar, but magic does not equate godhood. Every blight comes from the old gods, which are also dragons corrupted by some outside influence. Sometimes I wonder if we really know what we mean by gods. It seems Inquisitor Emeridan saved Orle 800 years ago. It's time to honor his legacy. The spirit said to follow the river to the north, and something about spires or spikes. Mm. Up the river, uh... The scouts have had trouble with Hakonites up there. I'll continue my research, but for now, your guess is as good as mine. What do you need me to do next, Professor? That spirit on the island said something about a Meriden going upriver to, um... ...some place with, with spires? While you search upriver, I'll continue studying these buckles. That, um, sounded better in my head. I'll speak with you later. Yes. Upriver. Spires. A place to pray and plan. One last night. This is it. This is brilliant. 
This must be what the spirit meant. Excellent find. From what I can see, this is an ancillary station. Likely a scouting post for the larger structure to the east. What can it tell us about where Inquisitor Ameridan went? Hmm. I got Professor Kenrick here safely. The rest is up to you. Lady Harding was quite nimble in the wilderness. I'll be watching to make sure the Hackenites don't come back. Indeed. That's something you don't see every day. A pair of shrines. This one is clearly Andrastian, albeit from a very early period, likely pre-divine. But this is Elven, one of their gods. Uh, what was it? Every mother finds Druffalo among sleeping juniper groves. G something. The one with the deer. What was that? Every mother finds Druffalo. Oh, it's uh, a memory aid to help me with the names of the elven gods. Every is Elgernan. Mother is Mithal. Finds is Fallow something. <sighs> I was more focused on early chant prehistory. I didn't really do elves. Are you sure that your memory aid caught all the elven gods? Well, there's only one F for Falondine. Oh, I suppose I forgot Fenrir. Most people do. This isn't him, though. It's, uh, it's one of the ladies, uh, obviously. G something. That would be Gilanar, mother of the Hala. Yes! Brilliant, thank you. Oh, that would have bothered me all day. Two shrines for two lovers. Inquisitor Ameridan and Talana. Maybe Talana was an elf. Oh, yes. That's good. The Chantry expunged references to elves before the exalted march on the Dales. They erased the canticle of Shartan. They must have done the same to Talana. The Chantry should not rewrite history to cover up inconvenient truths. Agreed. The chant of light should spread the truth, not suppress it. Regardless, the important thing is what this tells us. It's not a burial site. That much is obvious. Look at those flowers. They're not native to the area. What if they were left at the shrine as an offering? Yes. A night of prayer before battle against the dragon. But then where? Where? We're missing something. What are we missing? Oh, where did you go?
attack on when we destroy the lowlands! This fortress is too well fortified for a direct assault. We must find some other way inside. Perhaps the Avar and Stonebear Hold will have a suggestion. When you are ready, you have our blades, Inquisitor. You said that the Jaws of Hakon first tried binding their god in mortal form hundreds of years ago. What of it? In our search for Inquisitor Emeridan, we learned that he came here to fight a great dragon 800 years ago. A dragon that came from the mountains with Avar warriors to attack the Lowlands. <sighs> Your last Inquisitor must have fought well to stop Hakon himself. You're not bothered by the idea that our Inquisitor killed your god? He didn't kill him. That would have been easier. Whatever fight your Inquisitor finished, the Jaws of Hakon started. I find no fault with a warrior defending his people. Do the Avar gods take mortal form on a regular basis? No. The gods belong in the land of dreams. Whether it is their wish or some augurs that brings them here, battle tears will be shed. The Skulls say the Lady of the Skies took mortal form when Tyrda Brightax first led the Avar to the mountains. But they say many things about Brightax and the Lady. I will speak with you later. Walk with the Lady's blessing. When you are ready, you have our blades, Inquisitor. I'm ready to attack the Jaws of Hakon. Good. They will pay the blood price for what they have done. Your Skald and your Scout are here. We can plan the assault. Oh, I like the sound of Scald. It's more dramatic than Professor. <coughs> <coughs> yes, well, uh, everything we've found out about Inquisitor Emeridan suggests that he never emerged from that Tevinter fortress. If that is where your Inquisitor defeated Hakon, that is where the jaws of Hakon must perform the right to free him. Inquisitor Emeridan saved the Lowlands from an Avar invasion. We cannot do any less. You really have no problem with us killing your god? Gods cannot be reborn until they die. Hakon needs a good rebirthing. If you say so. With its ice wall melted, the fortress is open to attack. We must strike soon, before our foes recover. They're already trying. I've got most of our forces defending the shrine from Hakonites who want to restore the wall. The fortress was built to be defensible. It's going to cost us a lot of people to take it. Why? I'm no warrior, but with Lady Harding's forces defending the shrine and no way to breach the walls... <sighs> Lowlanders. Why not climb the walls? Your warriors can get over those walls before the Hakonites stop them? This is not a war, Stone Daughter. This is a raid. We strike at night. Clad lightly, we climb the wall and open the gate from inside. If Stonebear Holds can open the gates, we would be grateful. 
The jaws of Hakon have been bugs in my bedroll for months, Inquisitor. We owe you thanks. Inquisition forces will feign weakness near the shrine. That'll draw some of them away from the fortress. Not too many, I hope. Yes, save some for us. Right, Inquisitor. Ask and I will climb over. I'll be there to catch Parv when he slips. Of course you will. You'll be behind me after all. <laughs> <laughs> 